Welcome boys and girls back to our Werder Bremen Kaye mode and we are second place 4 points behind Hoffenheim and we have a game in hand so we could get 1 point, uh, 3 points closer to them so this is a huge chance we are going to play an away game against Frankfurt it's going to be the first game but, uh, but I don't know if you remember but most Simon is still injured unfortunately so we are going to try out Sand Maximim a few times now against Frankfurt I really want to play because they are like a very surprising team they have a very good team and sometimes they also um, I'm talking about real life they win 4-0 6-2 I just think they won 6-2 against Herder or something like this so sometimes they have amazing games because they have an amazing team but on other in, uh, it's like Every second game is an amazing win and the other game is just shit and they can't play at all. So I think we could either play against an amazing Frankfurt today or against a very shitty Frankfurt today. Yeah, I'm not going to change anything except of course Sant Maximim who is going to be our striker today. And yeah, I think there's nothing left to say so let's go and play this match. Before this game starts guys, um, today of course, when this video is coming out, it's uh, Friday. Um, so, but today, where I'm recording, that I'm recording, it's Wednesday. Yesterday, Man City played against Real. I just want to talk about this game uh, real quick. And I want to tell you what I think is going to happen today in um, the game Atletico against Bayern. Of course, when this video is coming out, the video is over. Uh, the game is, of course, over. And you all know what happened. Just want to tell you what I think is going to happen. And it seems like we're going to play against a very good Frankfurt. <laughs> well, um, yes. Um, ooh, this could be a good chance. That game was Boeing. I mean, of course, it was Boeing. Two huge, huge teams, and it was a very Boeing. No, no, I think there were in total like the first half. Three shots on target, and in total, Real had a few, but Man City had not even one good chance in the whole game, and Real had like two, three, and that's it. Nothing else happened. They had the amazing chance, of course, from Pepe and from Ramos with the header from the corner, and two, three other good chances. Hard with amazing saves. He played amazing yesterday. Man City did nothing at all. They tried to be fair, nice block, but they did nothing at all. Um, before the game my prediction was 4-1 for Real because I thought Real is going to take the game seriously but I mean they subbed, on, subbed off Benzema at half time Ronaldo didn't even play so I've, I think that they are definitely more interested in the league because they of course still can the uh, win the league can still get just third place um, and they didn't take the game seriously at all. I mean, it's the Champions League semi-finals. You should take the game seriously. And I think if they would have taken the game seriously, Man City would have lost 3-4-0. And they could have just chilled in the second leg. So I think that was stupid from City. Uh, not the best one from Bailey. But now the pass to Bargfrede. And he's going it. Amazing assist from Bailey and Bargfrede. I think that's the first time he is going for us. But it's a perfect finish to be fair. Nice from Philipp Parkfriede. Um, okay, today, Atletico against Bayern. There are not going to be many goals. I think it's either going to be a 1-0 win for Atletico, a 1-0 win for Bayern or a one all draw. Um, and normally, if I compare these two teams, I would say it's a 1-0 win for Atletico. Because their Bayern cannot defend uh, or play against teams who are playing like Atletico is doing. Who is defending very good and has some quick players up front. They can't defend like this. They were never they never were able to do this. Um, but just because I know Bayern and I know that Bayern is still somehow every time is they are somehow winning. <laughs> People are not knowing how. They don't deserve to, but they still are winning somehow. So my prediction is a 1-0 win for Bayern. And of course, 
when this video is coming out and you watch this video, you know if I was right or wrong. And yeah, just tell me your opinion of these two games and the EuroLeague game as well. Uh, EuroLeague games, just tell me what you think about them, if you're happy about this and all. Just let's discuss about these things. Good save from Donnarumma. Yeah, I just have to try it with you, Nuzovic. Hopefully I won't put, uh, put too much power on this shot. Nuzovic, it's amazing good save from their goalkeeper. Ooh. Good save from Donnarumma. What a first touch from the guy who almost got an assist there. So not the guy who shot the ball, but the other guy. Half time. To be fair, Frankfurt is dominating, but we are winning. And I just recorded the AFC Wimbledon Kai mode, which um, this video of course is getting uploaded on Friday. And this AFC Wimbledon Kai mode is getting uploaded on Thursday, so yesterday. And we played against two teams and both times we had no chance at all and they still got 4 points against Menu and Everton. Today the same thing is happening or in this episode, I don't know. I don't know what's happening with the CPU, I mean they are playing amazing and I can't play against them but I'm still winning. Cross inside, another chance, somehow they still can't score. I'm going to try out something different, I'm going to try out Kamani as a striker and Sant Maximim as the left winger. Kamani is waiting, passing to Sant Maximim and Barkfried is making a run again. What is going on with Philip Barkfried today? The assist again! What is going on with Philip Barkfriede? He got the goal and now an assist as, there, uh, as well. I mean, he is a defender and I told, I, I'm always um, telling my CDM to not go attacking at all. To not go forward at all, not take part in the attacks. But he's still just doing it and scoring a goal and now got, uh, getting an assist. Philip Barkfriede, man of the match today. Another amazing chance, for whatever reason he tried to pass it out, you see Frankfurt is definitely the better team, but we had two chances, scored twice and they can't score at all. Another good chance, again a good save from Donnarumma. I want 15 minutes to go and I'm going to make a few substitutions, going to sub on Pulisic um, for Kamano and also Lottin. For San Maximin, and I think I will also try out Pizarro. So I'm going to change our strikers um, completely. Here's right footed, it's okay. Who is it now? Right winger, Lutin, our left winger, and Claudio Pizarro. I told you he's not going to play very often, but if there is a chance to play with him, I'm going to try him out. Pulisic to Pizarro, and just have to wait for Pulisic now. Good pass from Pizarro. Pulisic is through. His chance to score. Christian Pulisic. Oh, Lottin, we still got the ball. That's, in my opinion, a penalty. Of course, Pulisic is not scoring, but an amazing shot, and of course, it's not going in. And for me, that's penalty. Two minutes extra time. Claudio Pizarro. Nice, yes. Pass it. Come on, let us go with Claudio Pizarro. Come on, please. Pizarro, please score. Ah, I tried to score with him. But it's over, and again, we don't deserve to win this game at all, but Barkfriede was just a beast today. A goal and an assist from Barkfriede. That's just completely crazy. Bayern actually won the game after 300 years, and oh, okay. First of all, let's train our players. Let's see if we can get some good results. Yes, Diop is going up to the 75. So for now I'm going to stop training him as well. So guys, now we got the cup game in the Deutsche Pokal, yeah, German Cup. And I actually wanted to play this game. But the thing is, all these players, I don't want to play with them. The only players I, I really want to play are Donnarumma, Busch, Westergaard, Garcia and Felix Groß. The other players are not interesting for me and Pizarro of course. So that's why I decided otherwise. Jan Hochscheid scored, but Johansen or Johansen with the equalizer. Come on, don't concede now. Okay, extra time. Junosovic getting subbed in and straight away scoring. Amazing. Of course, it's Junosovic. We probably had a free kick and subbed on Junosovic and we won after extra time against Frankfurt. Uh, not Frankfurt, against um, Braunschweig. So we are through to the next round. 
We got some money. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's not interesting. Yeah, around 200,000 pounds. Most of Simon is okay to play. Don't know if I'm going to use him again, uh, straight away in this game. Probably not, to be fair. But yes. So we're going to play this game, of course, against uh, Herder. I want to see. Bayern is actually 7th place now. They won a few games. And Herder is on 12 points. So they are not doing that great. At least not like in real life. So the first question is, of course, am I going to play with Simon? And nope, I'm not. He is going to be on the bench. Um, but that's it. He's cutting inside, waiting for somebody to help. There's Junozovic. Junozovic! Oh, so much power on that shot. The goalkeeper didn't even try to save it because he had no chance. And then so close, just over the bar. I will pass. Mm, yeah, okay, it worked out. Junozovic. Let's try the long shot. An amazing shot. And again, the goalkeeper had no chance. And this time it hit the bar. So fucking unlucky. In our box again, an amazing touch that was not offside somehow. I don't know what's going on today, but in every game, the CPU has 3 million chances and they just can't score at all. St. Maximim, cutting inside. There's the chance. Ah, oh, his chance to do something great. And then this shot. He's not on form yet. Not at all. He is improving, but he's not playing good yet. Cross inside, easy. It's actually nice to have a goalkeeper where you don't need to be scared whenever there is a cross. Because Balanta, you know Balanta, he is amazing, but he is doing many, many mistakes. And he is giving away some goals. So I'm quite happy that we have goalkeeper now. That. I can be 100% sure is going to catch the cross and not going to uh, be retarded. Uh, this guy's offside shit. Oh, another chance. Nope. Another cross, another. Uh, oh! They actually scored now. The thing is, they have Sinan Kurt on the left, who is an amazing talent. And he is very, very quick and very good in crossing. Andy Bezevich in the goal. Uh, it's, it's a striker who. In every season is scoring many goals in Bundesliga. He is destroying the Bundesliga. And he is especially amazing in heading the ball in. And yeah. Every attack from them is passing out to Sinan Kurt. He is going to use his pace, going to cross it in. Finds the head of Ibisevic. Now they scored, but... Well... I think it would have been Bargfried again who would have scored that. But of course, he is not going and that was quite stupid from the other guy. I think Bailey. Bailey with the pass to Stojanovic. Stojanovic. Oh, why is nobody reacting at all? What the fuck did the goalkeeper do? That was completely retarded. But nobody reacted at all. Nobody tried to score. Still somehow going. Bailey now try the shot. Good save. Come on, Kamano. Some guy tried a bicycle kick and it's still not a goal. Mm. I think I have to sub on Sant Maximim in a few minutes to change things. I think we are actually, actually I f yeah, I, I'm very sure he is that important already for us. We cannot score if he is not on the pitch. Or at least not very often. Okay, they stopped off Sinan Court for Salomon Kalu. That is good. I mean, Kalu is very good, but Sinan Court was definitely the best player um, in this game. So right now he would be man of the match. So I'm very happy that he is off. So now six minutes played, and yeah, San Maximum is off for Moses Simon. Leandrino back to Moses Simon. Simon searching for the gap. Here is the gap. Moses Simon. Look, pl please look at the time, or maybe I'm not even going to cut the video at all. I subbed him on, and this was the first attack we had afterwards. I just passed it to Moses Ehrenman, just tried to find the gap, and it's a goal. That is the difference between, for example, Saint Maximim and Moses Simon. Moses Simon has a chance, boom, goal. He can create and finish. Saint Maximim is not as good yet, and we really need this guy 
And that's also why I really, really tell you every episode, you have to try him out. He is so good. You're going to concede now? Yep. Of course. Straight away, um, they score as well. Of course, Ibizovic again. But without Moses Simon, I would say we lost now. With him, I think maybe in two minutes we scored our second goal as well. Let's see, Henri, Leandrinho, Leandrinho to Camano, Camano is cutting inside, still got the ball, Leandrinho, I told you, I told you guys, subbed on Moses Simon after 60 minutes and then within 5 minutes, 3 goals, it's, it is just Moses Simon guys. Denied. And I really don't know what just happened. I asked my player to shoot the ball away. He decided to pass the ball to this one guy who then hit the post and then they scored and it's somehow offside. What the fuck is going on in this game now? Just a few minutes ago I'm going to make, uh, make one more substitution. Bailey is off for Pulisic. I really enjoyed him. To be fair I'm going to make, uh, yeah I'm also going to sub off Kamal for Lottin. So now I changed our three strikers again. We have seven, eight minutes to go to maybe even win this game. You know, to be fair, I would not be that unhappy with a draw. Pass it to Lottin. Lottin against two. Lottin is cutting inside. Short post. Oh, so fucking close. This could have been the goal 91st minute and we scored and the comeback is done. I think that's the last chance in this game. Yeah, the ref will blow the whistle now. Ah, yeah, come on, Kalu. You're not going to score. Uh, he is actually going to waste time. I, I don't have a problem. I mean, I, I will I will just go away. Let's see how long the ref is waiting to blow the whistle. They don't want to do stuff. We don't. Yeah, okay, now. Okay. Crazy ref. So it's a war. And uh, the same amount of shots and shots on target. Yeah. First rule, if Moses Simon is playing, we are winning. If he's not playing, we are not winning or not scoring goals. Basically, we just need him. We are down now to third place. I mean, it's still amazing. Still just uh, three points behind first place. Um, so everything is fine. And uh, now, last but not least, the last thing I'm going to do in this episode is going to make one more training. Let's see if we can get some good growth, some good results. Yes, Henri improving everything. Bailey is really close to going up to 74. Uh, Donnarumma still 74 weighted or is he just going up to 74? I'm not 100% sure. Quench still 77. The opposite 75. Oshaki 76. Henri 71. I think that just happened but I'm not sure. Barfried is 76. That goal and assist that game. Deantino just going up to a 72 himself. That's nice to see. You know it's... I mean he is improving and he's still... I don't get it. Bailey 73, Kamano still 73, but he should go up uh, in the next two, uh, like in the next month um, to 74. Most Simon still 75, Lottin still 72, 10 games, 7 goals. Pulisic going up now to a 70, I really enjoy using him, I actually would say he is better than Lottin, even though Lottin has better stats, but especially I like his shooting, even though Lottin has 71 and he's 55, but his shooting still is better. Elvedi now going up to a 71, which means still 68. Uh, Felix Kroos 73, Yannick Westergaard improving some stats, but still 78. Bush still 68, uh, Garcia still 67. No, I think he just going up to the 68, but I'm not 100% sure. I think nobody else is interesting. The guy who is at loan going up again, he's not 68 rated. And yes, we are in December. Going to Continue till the game against Köln, and I'm going to play this game. I will. Uh, I look really forward to playing against this team because some amazing players, some huge talents, and they play a very nice style of football. Um, yeah, so let's look at this. I'm going to play against Köln. I'm also going to play against Hamburg and maybe also against Leverkusen in the next episode. This is the league table, guys. Against the Düsseldorf. It's not doing great. We are doing very great right now. Bayern lost again or to, uh, to, uh, just got a draw again. 
Don't know what's going on with um, Bayern. Not don't know what's going on with Hopp uh, Hoffenheim. Yeah, uh, this guys, I think there's no question for you. Everything is working out. I'm really happy. So yeah, I am. Um, I will just ask you to please smash the like button if you enjoyed this episode. Tomorrow, I don't know if I am going to upload the FC Wimbledon or Graham Kajomot, but I think FC Wimbledon. So yeah, just have an amazing day, guys. Keep fit, keep safe, and bye.